What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off about last time, uh, our forces at Zagreb were assaulted by Prussian troops because we are at war with them once again. Um, however these armies that are reinforcing are not the ones from the city, I think. There is, there is a couple of armies hidden behind my screen here, so they'll be coming... If they're coming straight, straight ahead, quote unquote, from where we expect them to be, we need to be aware of forces coming from the southwest. So if we click attack, you might see them for a split second. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Um, but yes, this and uh, of wanting to see me with a handful of troops in the first instance won't work out for them. Not really. Because it means they have no they don't you don't produce an over even more so if we have a breach. Which we do, and the direction is perfect. So if that's where the enemies, where we expect the enemy to be, here, they will come from over here. So the most of their troops will march over here and try to get in. Which is nice. But you must be ready for the idea that that might not happen. So I will want to take a, a gun team and have it here. Maybe even in in a little fortification focused on that breach then I may even keep this one more mobile in fact I might actually deploy this one here in case we have to do some shenanigans over here so this is why I want to keep these guys separate deploy our artillery batteries like so in the middle. Let's start putting men on the walls. So you're 11% damaged. So you go there. Fusiliers in the centre. You go there. Let's get you near guards up on the wall. Let's put this unit up here. You guys on here. You guys on here, in case they come around this way. I'm not really bothered about defending these walls. So that means we have... Ah, the other side. <laughs> this many troops in reserve, which is loads. So let's put... Cavalry spikes in. Because we know how they like their cavalry charges. It's cavalry spikes. Cavalry spike. Ah, that's my actual cavalry. Let's keep you safe and sound here. Cavalry spike for you. And then let's assume they make a breach over here somewhere. So if I put one there, or if I actually, if I take you two and have you both here like that. Sweet. Then I can take these guys and place more conventional trenches in the centre to worry about the incoming troops. I think that works. No one's left outside. Everyone's nice and safe. Let's do it. So let's get Union Marines inside. Let's get, oh god, the, uh, the rat -a tat tat from... I mean, they're all doing it. God, alive they are. Oh, oh no, they are actually coming from... Ah, do not occupy that building, Marines. Well, even so, that just means this area is even more defenders. It might mean I may actually want... Actually, I might want you... ...along there. The Marines, the Militia instead along here. We can destroy this building with our howitzers. Ah! I thought I told you to get out. 
Wait a minute. Kill the general. Oh, the gun. Wait. Well, I'm confused. Let's run my guys out. So it's time for I walk back on. So for most of them it won't matter if they're coming or all coming from back here. You guys, I'll just set you on to kind of shot rapid fire. <laughs> and ultimately it means if they fire from the fire artillery from this angle, they've got they, there's nowhere they'll actually make a new breach, so. Come on. They kill they killed some of my marines going in and out. But at least you're safe now. Oh no. General. Oh no. Okay, so this will test my experiment. Sometimes if you deploy them too far up, they do just run over them. That's mildly frustrating. We have that. There's that gap if we run straight in this direction. Oh, they're going to cause my power to keep the guns back again. So that's one failed part of my experiment. Is they can just run. If you run in a straight line, they'll ignore them completely. I'm, to be honest, I am baffled by how this isn't working. It might be. Part of me wonders sometimes it's because they've not got a target. But then again, you haven't got a target either, and you're fine. Okay, they might try to make a breach, another breach along here. Okay, try run more straight, please. Yeah, kind of. Get a few of them. Hey, there we go. It's got my fusiliers to work. And they might actually f fire into the backs of my own combat, but meh. and the regulars charging in, no less. Oh, they're going after my guns. It's not going to work, though. Hey, my militiamen are firing down from the top. Take a line up from unit, deploy them here. I do not like how they are swarming us right now. charge them. Let's put a new infantry unit back here to cover the cover the gap. Keep firing your cannons, men. Your lives will depend on it. So 
Same with you, militiamen. What the hell that was? No, don't attack anyone specifically, just drop carcass shots on the approach. The more cavalry that come in, the more... Ah! Get these brave men out of the firing line! So new fire will off. Let's put one unit in. Let's put this unit just to cover this breach, just in case. So the cavalry have found a new target they can actually charge, which is why they are just going to go straight to square. Some marines are trying to go around the flank, it's not working. It was awfully kind of them to come straight in. That's the general killed, another one, that's two. Another cavalry lance guard unit coming in this time. So there's going to be an awful lot of reinforcements entering the field. Because when all of these guys finally reach the. Uh, oh no, some of them have stopped. Now you guys can make. can fire on them. Nineteen Lancer Guards have taken a pound in. Here comes the, now they're sending in the Grenadiers. You guys. Yeah, you guys have got a target. You guys just keep firing it. Eh, yeah. I don't know. That's a really bad position. Fireball off. Fireball on. Because they, they were. Right, now they're bugged out. So the Grenadiers are getting raked by fire by rank. Oh, they're routed already. Okay. Come on! And comes the ninth foot guard. Canister shot going off. This guy two handing his sword. Gonna hop the barricade. Oh, and he's gone. Here come the fusiliers next. These layers are getting pounded. The lance of guards. They're trying to go straight on, it looks like. Yeah, they're trying to go in. Ooh, lots of fuse layers got cut down by that shrapnel shot. Trying to cast a shot. Okay, this unit's officially useless, so let's get you out of the way and let's get the marines in. Well, the marines, militia. The exact opposite. Some guards. 19th Regiment of Foot. See, so because I'm not manually targeting the cast shot, I'm not getting as good as as good a shot as I could maybe get if I was more active with it, but to be honest, the constant damage they've done is huge. It's 
see even the marines. Even my, not marines, why am I obsessed with calling them marines? My militia aren't any good at forming up on this particular bit of wall. Yep, the first regiment of foot barely made it in. Shuffle around a bit. Like it's so frustrating. Is it something about this particular bit? Well, either way, it makes me just want to go, okay, Marines. I'm just not gonna bother to hold this piece of wall. If no one's capable of actually I mean I don't know why they're trying to run down the wall. If no one can man these guns, then I'm not gonna bother to uh, to do it. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna, there's no point in me leaving, mari leaving militia there just to get shot. If, especially if it doesn't do anything good for me. All it does is it allows their marines to get some kills. Speed up the time a little bit. Oh! Wedge! What, there you go. Oh, yes, yeah, so if I pull back... Hey, they've garrisoned this bit of wall. But if I pull back... Now they're going to go into the breach, which would be nice. But here comes another set of troops. Let's watch these lancers in wedge formation. Officer up front. Oh, immediately dead. Look at the third foot guards. So they charge in. Now they're marching in. So these must provide some cover to them, but not enough. Oh, they're forming up line, ready to give fire back. Oh, my square to fire at them. Oh, more troops storm in. 14th this time. They might actually make it. Kill them. Count the gun team run. Okay, small infantry unit go out of the way. Infantry unit go back. Artillery team, pick up your cannons. That's just way too far. But I think they can't. They, I think they just too short from the log carcass shot there. Damn it! A shot away. Good. Right into the garrison guards. Straight into the breach and killed a whole bunch of the. <laughs> 53rd Regiment of Fusiliers. Oh, foot guards are in. Marines. As they get, just. They don't know what to do. Oh, that guy got hit in the head by a bit of caster shot. Here's the swarm are coming in. So they're being urged on. Oh, devastating big wedge of dead men. Engage the 53rd. Run away, gunners. 
And I'll pick the guns up again. And to be honest, let's get these guys here. Now there's no gun team on the flank. This small unit may as well make fire. They get mown down, fleeing. There's plenty more where they came from. So it must be them, them acting up again, even though they're in position. This the foot guard marine unit. Oh, they're coming in now. As they watch many of their fellows flee. As they charge over the mound of corpses of the dead. The officers are still ready. Look at this absolute charm of ours. He's hot the barricade. He's tired, so he's not coming in at top speed. Nope, he's had enough. Sorry, everyone. We'll be off. Another foot guard marine unit ready to take the mantle, so good guard. Trying to take out the 61st. To be honest, let's form them back up into a regular formation. So they form back. The 32nd are back. So what do they choose to do? They're advancing in. Immediately wavering. Oh, and they're shattered. Poor souls. 23rd, have they been in before? 47th, 5th, regulars. Blunderbuss shotgunners, they're going to be brilliant. Hey! A unit of 15 men is trying something different. one of their troop. This is the Sharp and Sharps Triumph, I think, trying to get in the different entrance, but it did not work. 23rd are unkeen, and un unkeen, not very keen to advance in. Well, no, they're, they're determined, they were determined to make, to try and create an emplacement. Okay. So these six foot guards and marines have been a bit funky. God, that was a bunch of dead people from canister fire there. Look, they're about to make ready. But look at all these bodies, man. You've got marines, you've got Polish infantry, 13 colonies infantry here on the red, cavalry, irregulars, early marines, late marines. Hovering swords. Cavalrymen that must have PTSD. Dead horses. Dead generals. Irregular. Poor, poor souls. Fusiliers out here. Oh, here come some guerrilla mercenaries. Irregulars. Oh, the officers cut down, they're charging the artillery. Oh, and they broke. But here comes fresh marines! And blunderbuss shotgunners! They are not having it! They want in. 
and they're going to make it. Or they're going to point blank blast of canister shot. Oh, they were so close, but they are. Oh, the gun didn't go off. The blunderbuss shotgun has got in. Get the gunners out. Gunners are trying to hold them off. I'm trying to make them retreat, but they're not. They're not listening to my commands. Let's get ready to deploy my own marines into the gap. My guns will be safe here. For this unit will. We're down to their officer. The commander of the guns is still alive. There he is. Now my marines are in. The officer's still alive, but he's unhappy about it. The fusiliers are in. Charge the fusiliers. Hmm, the sick are trying to find another way in. Fortunately, they've not got. Well, any troops they have that can exploit the break in are too far away. The fusiliers have had it. So is everyone, I think. That's the Marines gone, so you guys, to so my Marines, take over the position. 14th, pull out. Oh, the officer died. I think that's him. With his hat, it's a tricorn hat, not one of the Marines' little pie hats. Pork pie hats. These guys will die. 49th will have their way with them. So who's going to make up the next wave? 25th foot guards. Ooh, horse grenadier guards on foot. Line infantry, blunderbuss shotgunners. Poor souls. Speed up time. As our men take up new positions. We could deploy a new set of guns here, to be fair, actually. Like that. Pull the marines. Pull the guard out. Spread my infantry around like this. Fire will off for you. Let's put you in the armory. Guard the king's supplies. Up the 25th. Ah! I thought one of my artillerymen shot. Artillery got hit. Time to charge in. So let's put. Uh, you guys can turn off, fire it well. Same with you, I'm going to shoot the back of my own men. Let's take this unit of marines and send them back around here to guard. To be honest, I could probably, well, I was about to say garrison that building, but not at 88%, I'm not. Yes, sir. Come on, man. What are you? What are you doing? You're now just stuck there. GG. Okay, let's clear my marines because they are beating my infantry. And they've got blood of a shotgun in there as well.
Shotgun has a wavering. As you would expect from the cowards. I mean, I say cowards, we did ambush their fleet and sink their armies, but whatever. History will not remember that. Go on, Marines, take over the mantle from the light infantry. Not the light infantry, the regular infantry. The 61st. Who are you shooting at? Must be routing troops. Knowing my kit, my artillery is broken. Okay, okay, Marines, take the first line. Who's left? Forty second. Another unit of horse guard guards doing a fancy wheel around the flank. Let's target them with my howitzer. If they can even hit them from there. I think they should. Oh, no. But yes, they can hit me from there. Soon, though, their forces will be exhausted entirely. 47th, trying to find another way in. Although I expect. Yep, yeah, they've been drawn into the gap like iron filings towards a magnet. Proud flag. Holding forward. Come on, Marines, you should get a fire at that. Like. Fire. So they made it into the combat. These guys are out of ammunition, so they're going to charge in. Get my marines out front of the fortifications in case there's anything funky like that going on. Okay, let's just get you out of the way if you've got no ammo. Run the guard forward. So I think once they the militia are gone. So these guys have fled. Bravely fled. Horse grenade guards are in. I think I might just keep it on high speed for the last part of the battle because I doubt these chaps will go in. Nope. Ag! Where are you going? Stay here. Horse grenade guards fancy the chances. So let's get my general over here. Because he is going to do the Hail Mary play and go after the guns. And he won't die on my barricades. Go get him. And hopefully this militia will die to this infantry. Take them out, because these guys are a bit of artillery. Oh no, they've got some. Oh, it's just the horses for the grenadiers. Charge! Just make sure no one comes in to reinforce them, just in case. So they've routed. Chase down this horse going to guards, but it's just the marines or the militia. What do you call the marines? They have no ammo. They're very experienced though, they're rank four. Yep, yeah, these guys are bugged out trying to get into a firing position, but then they're going to be torn apart. Oh, why can't. Just pity those guys aren't shooting. I'm not going to chase down the militia because militia are quite handy to actually have in a attacking force. 
percent of the battle there. Militia are handy to have an attacking force because their morale breaks so quickly. Morale penalties cascading through their armies faster, in my opinion. I have no reason to back it up. Just how it feels. So we lost a thousand men, killed three point seven thousand of theirs. So you guys have been. Oh no, these were reinforcements towards Vienna. Well, that's not good. Yeah, don't go near. Oh, good. I was going to say, don't go near uh, Zagros is advancing on us on Lisbon. Madrid is ripe for the taking. I think things are going well. All of our infantry to win that battle. So you guys can see what I mean by how simple it is. Stands off and they attack with a small force. The AI's plan is programmed, I guess, favour a breach. Prefer preferable way in, assaulting the... So when they send them in there, roughly one unit at a time, why do you... why is it a difficult problem to solve? It's not a difficult problem to solve. And no, I'm going to counter off it and let's just make regular old peace. I mean, they could just ta attack Croatia, because... if they want to, but it's promising they want to make peace. Oh, new Spanish force moving in in the Americas, so I need to be wary of them pushing past my fort. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your nap. Hey, we got Morocco. So you, s oh yeah, I remember. So you said you were unhappy, but you yeah, know, not really. So here's that Spanish army moving in. Yes, they stopped me from tearing down the school, so I'm going to try to tear it down again. Repair, 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 replenish, replenish, replenish. I mean, we this battle more or less decided, because that's just not a real garrison to attack. We are triumphant. So Madrid is ours, exempt them from tax, and immediately knock down the University of Salamanca. Because we've got three universities i found is usually good enough. Rebuild, 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 rebuild. But before we hit replenish, we need to go over here first. And hit replenish. To be honest, I could just push this up. Well, this is a this is an army now. I could push them out as a bit of a Yes, my lord. As a bit of a, a reinforcement, you know, just push and drive them back to put some pressure on them actually isn't a bad idea. Yes, sir. You guys needed a bit of replenishment. So Madrid's ours. The only territory they've got is Gibraltar, so it's tempting to... Can I move you out of here? I can't cross... I can't cross over because they've got a handful of ships. So, if... I got around to recruiting a navy... I could actually try to take control of the strait and send troops over. I mean, they, yeah, they don't like me, but once they knock down, once I knock down the school, they'll they'll deal with it. Aha! Here's my navy. Come on, Graham. Let's take your actual functioning ships. Sail it over to Sandy Bay. Now we control the strait. But can Justin Gates march out of Morocco? Forward. He cannot. Yes. Sad face, because we need that resistance to foreign occupation to go down. Because I am eyeing driving on and capturing Gibraltar, because then that would knock all of these annoying Spanish armies out of the game. You guys need to replenish before I want to attack them. Because we might have to do this the old way. Bash through. Uh, so do I want to combine any units? The is they can't really replace them. And I can't safely get the troops there easily because they're blocking the way. So, Tristan, me old mucker. Oh, you don't have foot artillery though. 
I rob any from here. Uh, you're recruiting some next turn. I mean, I could march up with just howitzers because you've got not much. Yeah, it's no, nah, that's a lot of junk. I'd still like. No, I don't know. I've got I've got a massive foot infantry army. Yes, sir. Hmm. What I'm looking at is well, I want to find out what's the where's the best expen expansion of effort. I think on my spy over here towards Vienna to try and to try and sporadically assassinate some of these generals that are being recruited. Let's check out our tech. So Evora, you're being destroyed. As is Salamanca. I mean, it'd be handy. Eh, I'll say it'd be handy to have that. But I'm already upgrading Florence. So Hartford, don't eh, Florence, don't bother going for that because way too high up at your level. So go for. Okay, let's take Charlotte and you research quicklime shells. No, actually, let's set you to that for a moment. Let's get Hartford to get quicklime shells. Let's get Charlotte to get... Uh, advanced irrigation to get the wealth generated from farms. Because I'm not bothered about the cost of building things at the minute. And then Florence. You can go for... Machine tools. Sweet. Recruit some sloops in the Caribbean. Oh yes, that was to provide blocking forces for the for the nave for, for the their forces. Well, stopping the forces in Antigua being able to sally out. Take Let's chase down Abraham Barrett because the garrison of the city doesn't mind. Victory! Push up with a little bit of movement. And then finish them off. So I'm going to hit and turn and see what happens. Ah, that's the rest of that Polish navy. I didn't want to fight. And we will take your first rate because we lost one of ours. See how the AI reacts to this turn of events. I have a feeling. Ah, okay, I need to. That army that's in Rome needs to push up and block the gap towards Italy now. Uh, do not, um, do not intercept. Enemy approaching. And retreat. Draw. Do not intercept. Ah, oh, how many are you going to kill? 454. Damn it, Jeremy Jones, you did good. Okay, so their armies have immediately scattered, so I think we do go for the take Gibraltar and knock them out of the game approach. Because this is the problem. Poland is the problem. Ooh, and they want to attack us. Even though we've not been fully replenished, to be honest, we're still going to make absolute mincemeat out of them. Because this first army is knackered, and the second army will come in piecemeal. But... Looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you're ready for another episode of Defending Zagreb from the Poles. Cheers, everyone.